YouTubers, and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 16, the show. This is the Kansas City Royals franchise, and this is episode 81 as we're getting ready for the second game of a three-game series here with the Baltimore Orioles. As uh, you see Danny Duffy on the hill today, we'll be having him in action here in a few as the Royals playing really well right now. With uh, Duffy and pretty much everybody in the lineup hitting very well as uh, we have uh, seen in um, the last couple of uh, months here. The Royals have been doing very, very well. You see the Orioles right now just a half a game behind the Blue Jays who currently have first place in the American League East. As for us, we have a big lead really on everybody right now. And we've already clinched a spot in the playoffs. So Oriole Park here, a beautiful afternoon. You see Royals. 100 to 42, and the uh, Blue Jays there, or the, I should say the Orioles there, like I mentioned, are in third place right now, and they're trying to fight for uh, to get up in the standings here. As you see, Blanco, uh, there you see Ray Blanco, uh, there you see his record, eight and 17 for the season, 4.42 ERA, and uh, we'll see. The, the Royals uh, looking forward to trying to sweep this series here as, um, actually, well, this is actually game three of this series, not game two. Uh, but definitely trying to see what we can do. Now, the lineup today is going to be a little different. we got Christian Colon on the uh, on the plate here today. He's taking, uh, I believe, it's uh, Fonte's spot. And that's a nice base hit here as he knocks that one in there. And uh, you see he'll get a double for his effort here. And the Royals got somebody on board here. So Christian Colon trying to impress us here, trying to be in the uh, running here to try to be next year's possible second baseman uh, if Afonte decides to retire, which I don't see that happening, but you never know. Uh, but which he's trying to fight for a roster spot for next year. Now Adam Lynn coming up to bat here. Uh, he is, there you see his number so far. He has been hitting very well here for the Royals. As uh, Colon now moved over to third, we'll see here with two outs and a uh, first at bat here for Adam Lynn. Adam Lynn is going to knock that one in there. That is going to be a base here for Adam Lynn as he will go ahead and knock in a run and Colon will score. And the Royals are now have a lead now of one to nothing. Now go to the bottom half of the first. Danny Duffy 18 and seven for the year, 2.95 ERA. There you see 225 strikeouts there. He is one of the best right now, one of the best pitchers now in the American League here this season for the Royals. And uh, we'll see here what he can do here against Manny Machado. And you see Machado's numbers there so far. 0-1 count here for Machado. Is Machado having a good, a good season here so far? And there you see the third baseman just throws that one over. Now that is not Mike Moustakis. Uh, I believe that's uh, Chester uh, Trubert, uh, a uh, third baseman from uh, the AA affiliate, uh, the the uh, Storm Chasers here. He's thrown that one and just threw that one wildly as Hosmer had to go track that one down. That's going to be getting him on board, and that is going to be a, hit, a uh, throwing error there for him. So the Royals now have one error. Chris Davis up to bat here, and he has a 240 average so far here for the season. As uh, he's been kind of quiet here in this series so far. As we have one count on Chris Davis. And this is going to be a grounder here. Hopefully it will be a turn to a nice double play. And it is so. And that is going to be it for the inning. As the Royals get out of that one. The arrow does not creep up on them. And they are able to get out of the first frame here. With a one to nothing lead here. Against the Baltimore Orioles. So now we go to the fourth inning. We'll see Alex uh, Gordon there. 0 for 1. He struck out back in the first. Yes, two. Uh, there's two outs. Nobody on board here for him. He has a one-one count, and we'll see what Gordon can do here with this pitch here. And Gordon gets a hold of this one high and deep. This is going to go back, and it'll scream it out of here, out of Orioles Park. There, that is a home run, and that Royals now have a two to lead, two to nothing lead here, as Gordon hit a solo shot there, his 29th of the season. See Ned Yosh happy to see what this uh, ball club is doing here for him so far this year. And there you see a 378 
feet home run there for Alex Gordon. So Gordon has now 29. I believe this is a career high for him as he has not had this many home runs in a season. And really, truly, overall, this, uh, this just the power that these Royals have right now is really coming alive. Now, Aaron Hill, over one for the Orioles here as we go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. We'll see what Hill can do uh, with the 3 1 count, hitters count here. And Duffy trying to see if he can get back into the, getting this back to full, but no, he cannot, as that's going to be a walk there. So that'll be the first walk of the game. And Duffy not happy with himself here. And he's going to try to see if he can fight back here and get Chris Davis here in trouble. So Chris Davis 0 for 1. He ground out back in the first. We'll see what he can do here. And this is a perfect opportunity now for Chris Davis to really come alive here. If he won just one swing of the bat, he can tie this ball game back up. As he does have a full count. And Davis looking for a pitch. And this is going to be a ground out there to second. Second throws to short. Short throws to home first and that is going to be your double play as Chris Davis gets to, gets himself into a second double play of the day now and that is uh, what Duffy is looking for right there so nice job turning the double play there for the world's defense is now Adam Jones here he's going to come up to bat here and this is one of the slugger right here the center, left fielder or I should say the uh, center fielder here for the Orioles there he will go ahead and he'll drive that one to the uh, third baseman third baseman will make a nice play this time around as he throws that one right to the first baseman for an out so it's a two nothing ball game after four Royals lead this one here as now we go to the fifth inning here top of the fifth two outs and we'll see Ron uh, row of Mondesi jr. he'll knock that one that one will go in there and Mondesi will go ahead and he will get a base hit there. He is his first major league hit right there. And the congratulations to him. So they're going to try to bring that ball in. And uh, so he can get that one and put it on his mantle. Now Mondesi and Cologne are both uh, trying to fight for that second baseman spot there. The, the starter second baseman. And of course whoever doesn't get the starter second baseman's position. Uh, could be the future second or shortstop uh, player out there. So. Uh, a lot of opportunities here for these guys to do something here today. As you see, Kane will go ahead and hit a base hit there to right. That is going to bring now runners on board here at first and second. So we've got a runner in scoring position now. And now the pitching coach is going to come out and talk to Donahue and to uh, his pitcher there as we'll see what they're going to be discussing. And, of course, discussing how they're going to face these Royals here. As you got a couple of big hitters here coming up. Got Christian Colon who hit a single or, or a double earlier and scored on the that double. So we'll see now 2-0. They got runners at first and second with two outs. Cologne looking for a pitch. And Cologne clobbers this one. That one got, hits down to shallow center field. Runner from third is going to go ahead and score here. Run, and then you see now the runner from second moves over to third. So now we have runners at first and third. And now you got big Hosmer coming to that bat. Hosmer 0 for 1, knocks that one in there. That will be a base hit for Hosmer as he knocks one in. And that will be a now a, uh, I believe, a 4 nothing ball game here for the Royals. So, move on to the 5th now. We'll see here in the top of the, or excuse me, bottom of the 5th. We'll see that, I believe, uh, I'm not sure who this is, who this is but... We'll see the batter here. He'll knock this one over, and that will be a base hit. That will go ahead and get him on board. As you see, Royals trying to throw that one in, so make sure he does not stretch out for two. And we'll see the Orioles now got a runner on board here. So Danny Duffy's numbers there. You see a four and a third. Two hits so far now. He's got one walk and four strikeouts here. Unusual to see him with such a low strikeout ratio right now. As but we are in middle, middle of the innings here, and we'll see Jonathan Scoop come up to bat. We'll see what Scoop can do here as he has a runner on first. And if Scoop can try to do something here with his at bat, try to get a within three now of the Royals. As he has a 2 2 count with one out, runner on first, and Scoops hits this one. He finds a gap out there to right center field. That is going to bounce down, it's going to hit against the wall out there. Runner from first is going to go ahead and score to third from home or to home, and Scoops will go ahead and get a nice triple, a nice 
RBI triple there for Scoops, and the Royals lead it now 4-1. to one. So, Orioles come back with this big triple from uh, Jonathan Scoops, and that's going to get them within now of three runs here. As you see there, ball gets there very late, and Scoops is safe. 4-1 now here for the Royals. As the 0-1 count for the next batter here, Donahue. Donahue drops this one down. Of course, a runner from third will come in to score, and it's now a 4-2 ball game. Royals still lead here with a two-run lead. So nice job there for the Orioles. Really doing a good job taking those opportunities now uh, with batter, with runners on board. Now, we'll see here the next batter coming out to bat over two. And we'll see it with one out. This is going to be a pitch, and this one's going to go fall out there. And can they track this one down? They do so. And that's going to keep the runner at first here. Nice job as Donahue has to be retreated back. Now, Manny Machado now over two, struck out and ground out. Last two at bats, and we'll see what two outs, what he can do here with the runner at first. And that is going to be a grounder. And almost ball, almost boggled there, but it gets there on time. And that one just gets there. Woo! Close call. And the Royals in the inning there. A get two runs in the inning. It's a 4-2 to two ball game. Now go to the seventh inning here. Ron of Montessi, one for two. Singled and had a run here in the ball game. And we'll see a 2-2 two -two count with nobody on board. And Montessi hits this one right there. Montessi's going to take off here. And he... Gets down the line, but oh my goodness, right as they go, and uh-oh, here we go. Was he out at first? Was he there on time? Now, to me, it was a bang-bang play. To me, the tie, just call it a tie and give it to the runner. We'll see here that from that angle, of course, they always give you that one freaking angle before you can actually challenge. Uh, looks like there he had it, but... The chances are uh, we're probably wrong. Well, it's probably pretty high here. As we go ahead and say, yeah, let's go ahead and challenge this. Give a thumbs up. Let Ned Yosh know. We're like, okay, we want to challenge this. I want you guys to go to uh, call New York and see what this play is all about. And we'll see here that from this angle right here, the angle we need to see, looks like he gets there on time. And so does the ball. So that would be a tie. If that's the case, the tie goes to the runner. So is it going to be out or is it going to be safe? Up say, nope, it's an out. New York says it's out. And the whole call is upheld. So we end up losing a challenge and can't challenge anymore here in this ballgame. So now Kane comes up to bat. So Kane's going to come up to bat here with nobody on board with one out. 3-1 count, hitters count. We'll see what he can do here with, a two, with the two-run lead here. Try to hopefully extend this lead here at some point. And we'll see that he gets a pitch, and he hits this one over to right field. That drops down. Shallow right field. That is going to be a base hit. And that is going to put the uh, Royals uh, free uh, Royals uh, center fielder there at first. Now, next bat here for Kane, as, or for, uh, for uh, Hosmer. He uh, gets hits this one to second base. And second baseman makes a nice snag there to end the inning. Nice job there getting that one, and Hosmer heated about that. He's been having a tough uh, go here in a couple last couple of games now. Go to the ninth inning here. We'll see Greg Holland try to close this door here as he is one for two for the season. He has 41 saves in 56 games, and he's trying to get field number 42 here. He could be the leader here if he gets this one. We'll see a swing and a miss there on Hill as he misses that one. There you see. The saves leaders here, and Hoover has 42, and Hosmer, or excuse me, Holland, looking for the same thing here, and try to be one of the saves leaders of the season. So Chris Davis, 0 for 3, fight out back in the sixth inning. Now this would be a horrible time for Chris to come back here and, and try to swat one over the wall, but he does not there as he takes that one looking there. That is going to be a strikeout, and the Royals now have two away. So. Take a look here. See, ha, or see uh, Holland there. Throws that one in there, and that's going to be a nice pitch. Now, two for three, or two for full count now for Scoops, I believe. And, or no, excuse me, Adam Jones. And Jones strikes out there, and that is your ball game as Danny Duffy gets the win. They sweep the series three games to none. 
Royals win this one. 4-2 is your final score. We'll see the box scores here in just a bit. But the Royals pick up another victory and pick up another uh, uh, series win now. And Royals are going to move on here today as they have a great, I mean, a big, big lead here. And I'm playing some really good baseball here in the final month of the season. So we'll take a look here in just a bit as you see them high-fiving each other and congratulating one another as Holland gets the save. And we'll see here that the Royals do win this one. Nice job. So 19 and 7 now for Danny Duffy as he gets uh, 16 years of work, four hits, two runs, two earned runs, one walk in the ball game. But Greg Holland is your player of the game there. Just come in for the inning and strikes out the side there. Nice job there. That's what you want to see a closer do. And he does get his 42nd save of the season. So the Royals get the victory there. Everyone got some pretty good numbers here today. And we'll see here uh, where our next series here coming up is. And also, too, I'll give you guys a quick look at uh, the upcoming uh, AA playoff look. But there you see some of the notables for both squads there. You guys can pause the video, check those out. But right now, uh, yeah, this is the Royals on fire right now. So they are 101 and 42 for the year. And looking to be the best team, or currently right now the best team in Major League Baseball here. And looking for to repeat once again and make their way to the World Series. As you see there, wrapping up today's game. So nice job there for the Royals as they get a good clean sweep against the Orioles of Baltimore. So there you see the numbers. Uh, and Duffy, man, I mean, really, Duffy is just. <laughs> I really think next season he could be the. He could be a day two, maybe even uh, challenge uh, King Felix for the number one. Uh, from the number one start there, day one starter. So uh, we'll have to see coming up um, here as we you know get closer to the playoffs like that. I think I may move uh, Duffy. He may end up missing a start here, uh, so he can get that day two uh, rotation. Um, but uh, I think the coming actually to come up the next episode for the Royals, uh, besides the double A playoffs, which I'm going to show you guys here in a bit of uh, how that schedule is going to be. Uh, we got a game against uh, Cleveland somewhere in that same time frame. Um, I think it's like game two or game three of the of the double A series. Uh, we'll also have a game with the we'll have a um, Aaron Brooks make his first start. Uh, for this new season, um, and he's of course trying to fight for a spot there for next year to be on the pitching staff, where because he's right now taking Vargas's uh, spot there as a day two starter. Uh, but yeah, we got a uh, we got him playing against Cleveland. That'll be a game you guys will see here. We'll have uh, show you guys highlights of that game. But there you see the playoff uh, picture right now uh, as they're getting ready to play Midland, Double uh, A affiliate uh, for us. The uh, uh, Northwest Arkansas uh, Naturals. Uh, and so game one will be coming up here on the channel here very, very soon. You guys can stay uh, stay tuned for that. You'll guys uh, be in your inbox. Make sure you hit that bell uh, so you guys get the notifications when the, when videos like that come up. Uh, so you guys can check those out uh, here on the channel. But that series will be starting up here pretty soon. We'll be seeing game one. And you guys will see that it's in its entirety uh, for the Texas League Championship game. Uh, best of five. Uh, you have to win three to win the championship, and we'll see game one here on ESGNet. Like I said, it's in it in its entirety, and it should be a lot of fun. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, uh, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that subscription button if you're new to the channel and want to check out more uh, Road to the Show with, or I should, well, yeah, Road to the Shows and also Franchise Mode here on MLB. Uh, 16 the show so thank you guys so much for watching uh, follow us on Facebook Twitter and Tumblr links are down below in the description and as always keep yourself healthy and I will see you guys next time